Let's talk about civilian tactics. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we're here today to talk about civilian tactics. Uh, so I got a couple thoughts about this. One, if you've been following this channel for a while, uh, you probably know that I really don't like the word civilian. Um, I, I, I don't prefer it at all. The reason is, just a quick recap here, is that it's, it's a word that means something you're not, right? A civilian is not someone who's in the military, uh, and then we've somehow, for some reason, expanded it to mean not police, not fire, not EMS. Um, I don't know why. The original definition of the word, which is the correct one, just means you're not in the military, okay? And uh, I don't know other words that really define people by something they're not, uh, aside from maybe the word atheist, right? Atheist, not atheist, right? It's a Greek word. We could go down that rabbit hole. Point is, there's not really too many words that I can think of that define you as something you are not, right? And, and not only that, it just in the gun world, um, when we talk about civilian, we usually end up meaning, meaning to some degree or another, the retard version, right? Well, there's the really good mil spec version or whatever, and then there's, you know, there's the civilian version. I mean, the military gets the full auto, but you get the civilian version that's semi-auto. And, and, you know, there's the military version that has the superpower IR laser, and you get, you get the civilian version because, you know, you're not, you're not allowed to have that. We're just going to give that to some 19-year-old kid from New Jersey, uh, but he's allowed to have that, but you're, you're not allowed to have that. So, you know, th these, are, these are the typical things that we mean. Now, hey, mil-spec is a whole other different thing. Uh, mil-spec actually isn't that high of a spec. And your guns, my guns, are higher than mil-spec. Uh, probably your guns are higher. I know mine are. Um, but that's a, that's a different, different deal. Point being, when we start talking about civilian stuff, we, we usually start, start talking about a dumbed-down version or, or a, a retard version. Uh, and my problem with that is especially when it comes to tactics. And, and I'll see videos pop up with this every now and again, or you know, I see videos about like plate carriers for civilians, or like defense tactics for civilians in SHTF, or, or you know, whatever. Like you see these stuff, this stuff. And, and I saw one the other day, and it always just it always just gets me a little angry. Um, first of all, just so you know, I do prefer the word citizen, right? If you're like, well, you don't like civilian, what's wrong with you, Dylan? What word do you like? I like the word citizen. It's why I named my classes Citizen Pistol One, Citizen Rifle One, Citizen Patrol. Like uh, these are the things I name my classes. Why? Because a citizen is someone who is invested in, has stake in and value to defend their society, right? You think about citizen soldiers of old, uh, like the Athenians, a great, great example, or any really Greek state, right? They're citizens of the city who are called in defense of the city when, when it's time to, time to go to war, right? The Romans did the same thing, right? You were a Roman citizen, you were a citizen of the city, and therefore when it was time to go, uh, you went. You went to fight, right, and defend what was yours. Great system that worked for him for a long time until Marcius and those reforms. If you're a Roman history nerd, you're tracking with me. If you're not, just ignore this. Uh, okay, so back to the point here. So you see these videos that, that have these uh, citizen um, Marian reforms. If, if that's, I don't know if that's what I said, but I meant Marian reforms under Gaius Marius. Um, anyway. Uh, so the problem with these civilian tactics things, right? They usually mean a dumbed down version of it. And, and my problem is as a citizen, I don't necessarily need the dumbed down version. And I get the argument, right? The argument is something like, look, as a civilian, right? As a citizen, your, your, your mission is different. And mission does drive the gear train. Mission does drive our tactics. Yes, amen, that's true. So what their argument is, is well, your mission is different. You're not going out to conduct ambushes. You're just gonna like hole up and defend yourself while you know law and order is restored. You just need to like hold on and wait for the cavalry to come. And I don't know, that might've worked 10 or 20 years ago, but it just doesn't now. Uh, you know, when I first started, I trained permit to carry uh, in the state of Minnesota for years, uh, for like almost 10 years, I think. And uh, when I was teaching permit to carry, right, I, I, I taught the, the hold up and wait thing, right? If someone breaks into your house at night, everybody, both, both for legal reasons and safety reasons, you know, just wait, stay in your room, stay in your house, stay where you need to be. Don't, don't go venture out and clear your house, right? Stay where you're at, call the police, let them clear the house and do the thing. And then, and then that's the safest legal and physical way to protect yourself, right? And uh, 
I tell you what, when I, in, I don't know, 2015, I don't remember. One night, the door flew open in my house, right? It turned out to be no big deal. So don't think this is some exciting story. Uh, and, but at the time, I didn't know that, right? So my wife's like, you're gonna go check that out. And I'm like, yes, I am. So I chambered my rifle, walked downstairs, saw that my front door was open, right? Use my white light, because you should have a white light on your gun. And, uh, and I said to my wife, hey, call the police, right? So I did the whole thing. I stayed there, I didn't do anything. I, I waited, I, my whole family was upstairs, so it was fine, right? The police came, they checked it, no big deal. The, maybe wind blew it open, we don't, I still don't know to this day, but whatever, nothing happened, okay? And uh, I look back at that and I'm like, okay, well, according to the, the civilian tactics at the time, right, I did the right thing. The problem with that is, I think is twofold. The first one is mindset, right? Like, look, I want you and me to survive, right? I want to make it. And I don't think having a defensive mindset wins fights. Now you can say, oh, well, that's not true. You know, I mean, let's, let's roll out World War I and how defense was better than offense. And let's roll out all different kinds of, you know, de defend position, static position tactics and all this stuff. And I'd say, ah, okay, well, one, we can talk about that. But two, if you look at people who win wars, they win them aggressively. If you look at UFC fighters who win fights, by and large, they win them aggressively, right? Aggression is a key principle mindset, like a base mindset. It doesn't mean you don't play defense sometimes. It means that it's a key base mindset to win fights. And at this point, you know, if someone uh, invades my house at night, I'm going to carry that mindset over. Okay, do with that what you want in Minecraft, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so, you know, that, that's what I think you need to uh, think about is, is what, what kind of mindset do these civilian tactics and this thing for civilians, what, what kind of mindset is that imparting to you? Is that imparting to you that you're, hey, you don't, you don't have the training and skills and, and wherewithal and iron will necessary to do actual real adult stuff here. So, uh, you know, I just want you to like calm, sit in the corner, little boy and, you know, hold your rifle and if anyone comes in the room, you just shoot them because that's, that's civilian tactics for you. Like that, that's really the, the ethos and the feeling that I get from a lot of this stuff and why I get so annoyed. I'm not an 80 year old lady. I'm not my, my, you know, I'm not a 12 year old. I'm not that. I am an adult man who uh, has practiced this stuff and read a lot about this stuff and taken a lot of classes and put a lot of time and effort into this. And uh, surely there are better options for me. Okay. Now you can say, hey, Dylan, you're an idiot. You don't know anything. Uh, no, there's not. Okay. And that's your problem. And we can, we can have that discussion, right? Uh, but that's one. I think there's a mindset issue with telling people to just stay put. Those are civilian tactics. Just defend the static position. Don't do anything, right? Uh, ask any warfighter how that's gone for him. Okay. Uh, two, I, I think that, are those all the tactics that I'm going to need? Says who? According to what? Have you seen the state of things recently? We're living in a declining, falling, dying empire. Like, why would you think that that's all the tools in your toolbox that you're ever going to need? I, I, don't, I genuinely don't understand that. Things are getting bad and they're going to get worse. And you're telling me that the tactics that I need are just to hold on and wait for someone to come to the rescue. Like, who's coming? Who's coming to the rescue? Uh, if not me, then who? If not now, then when? Like, who is coming? I don't, I don't understand that. I don't understand who's coming. So those are my real two big issues. And I don't think that we can just confine ourselves. We as everyday American people, which I am and you probably are, uh, can, can just confine ourselves to this one corner of tactics and be like, these are civilian tactics. And this is what, this is what we need to know because this is gonna be our mission set. And I'm like, yeah, well, I, maybe, I don't know. You know, like, I, I, I don't know. And that's the point. Nobody knows. And pretending that you do know, I think is frustrating and, and presumptuous. And I find that insulting. So, you know, in part, huh, right, that's why I wrote this book, uh, <laughs> Minuteman 201, Small Unit Tactics. Why? Because there might be more stuff that you need to know, right? There might be more stuff than just, hey, just uh, stand there and wait. Put on your plate carrier and turn on all the lights, right? Like there might be more to know that you need to know. You might need to know how to run night vision with boys inside hostile territory. I don't know, just spitball in here. So point being, I think these things are worth thinking about. And I always want you to ask the question, why are they telling me that? Why would they think that's what I need to know? 
why are we calling this civilian tactics? Like, what, what are we doing here? What is the presupposition that the information they are telling me is built on? Because that will tell you a lot. That will tell you a lot. So, I hope that's helpful. I hope that gets those gears turning in your brain a little bit. And I hope that you, by the end of this video here, aren't just thinking, oh, well, I just need civilian tactics, gear, plans, whatever. You know, I hope that's what you're thinking. I don't, I don't need that. I want the 100 proof stuff and let me, as an independent adult with a thinking brain, decide what it is that I would or wouldn't need, right? I think that's important. So, I hope that's helpful. I hope that helps you think. And, you know, again, hey, free plug, if you're interested, get the book because I talk about it and I wrote it to be helpful to you and to me so that uh, we're not left just with the, the civilian tactics because, again, I find that insulting. Do brave deeds and endure.